Welcome to Abstractus. Today, conceptual art. Today we have a tricky one. Conceptual art is quite a tricky concept to understand and it's nothing to do with abstract art. Conceptual art is basically when the idea is more important than the actual, actual execution of the painting. So basically the idea, the concept is what really matters. Um, to illustrate that, I want to try and do three different paintings. All of them based on one simple idea and, and a very clear, so it shouldn't take too long to do, but the concept is what's really important. First one, I was trying to look for a, a, a toy boat today. I went all over town, all the toy shops, I couldn't find one. So obviously one has to innovate, one has to invent. I'm going to try and do one out of cardboard very quickly. So first of all is to draw a quick what I want is some sort of tanker shape, which I will then cut out. I want it 3D, which is why I was looking for the actual uh, uh, toy boat, but I couldn't find one. So very roughly, it's just, again, conceptual art, so anything should do. That is the type of boat I was looking for all day. Obviously, kids nowadays don't play with toy boats. They play with probably, you know, uh, Nintendos or Wiis or whatever. So, couldn't find any. Right. Next step is to cut that out. Again, I'll try using this, failing that, a, uh, a pair of scissors. It doesn't have to be detailed because you'll see later on what I'm trying to convey. And it will all be very obvious and apparent in the end. Actually, there's a, an art, I think it was an art philosopher, historian, or even maybe an artist, a guy called Sol Lewitt who actually coined the phrase uh, conceptual art. What he said basically was that uh, when the, the idea is the main thing in a painting and the planning of it, of the idea, getting the idea through is what really matters and the actual execution of it is less important. So that's how he defined conceptual art. I'll try and remove that now slowly coming out but you know it's something that one must ponder on the idea is the most important thing everything else is secondary in the painting that's why the name concept or conceptual art so obviously we're not going to end up with a pretty painting I'm warning you but it should be an interesting one and like I always say at the end of the day art has many different functions and not all of them mean that it's a pretty painting. You can do a pretty painting of a flower, but you can also do a very horrible, gruesome painting of, uh, I don't know, a war scene or anything that's not really nice. Okay, we now have... My, actually, I'll leave the chimney like that. We now have my toy boat. I wasn't going to paint the actual boat, but I was seeing it. It might be better to give it a quick coat of, of, of black um, um, PVA and, and, and emulsion paint. Very quickly, again, this has to be, this is just a rough idea. Now, um, conceptual art can take many different forms and it's, it's, it's important that, that you understand exactly what I mean by that. Any type of art can be a conceptual work of, of art. For instance, you can have a theatrical piece uh, a, a theatrical, you know, a play, and it's purely conceptual, where where there's no linear storyline, but ba basically it's aimed at, at putting that idea across. 
it can also be musical uh, or a happening. A happening basically was very common in the 60s where you had, um, you know, artists performing live, performing a, a sort of show live and, and, and it, it was called a happening because after it was done and it had happened, it no longer was. So what was done was done during the time of the happening. Um, and most commonly nowadays, and this term you'll hear quite a lot of, and I'd rather expand on that so you know what it means, what most commonly is referred to as conceptual art nowadays is uh, installations. What is an installation? An installation is simply, it could be anything, but it's simply an array of, whether it's objects or photographs or anything visual or even musical that's prepared to put an idea across. I mean, nowadays you see a lot of uh, uh, rooms where you walk into them and you walk into the installation. Whilst you're there, you're listening to music, you're smelling smells, uh, you're being shown an array of photographs, it could be very, um, you know, uh, strong, or it could be like a, a weird piece of sculpture. I'm just painting that to get away, get rid of, of the color of the card, which is not what I, what I intended. Like I said before, I wanted this to be a toy boat. It would have given the whole, the whole conceptual work a more, uh, an extra dimension, being a toy. But unfortunately, you'll have to imagine that it's a toy, it isn't. It's my toy, actually, and, and it reminds me of one my dad did when I was a little kid. So in those days, this was a toy. And I like young kids to realize that, you know, days of uh, when you had to innovate. Uh, like a friend of mine says, uh, uh, you know, you had a, a piece of, of, of bamboo and it, you, you made it think it was, a, it was a gun. Nowadays, all is done, the imagination is hardly used by kids. But anyway, that's a very personal uh, uh, observation. Okay, that's ready now. I'm going to clean up my brush, wash my hands a bit, and I'll get back to you in a second. Because this is a, a program purely on conceptual art, I didn't think it was wise to use a pristine large canvas. At the end of the day, what I want to put across can easily be done on what I call a recycled canvas. And this is basically one of my light drawing canvases, which I've covered in white. And remember, I've always said you can do it, never ruin a painting. If it doesn't work, you cover it white and it's there for another day. It's there to fight for another day. Okay, um, first of all, I've got my Barquito Chiquitito here, which I'm now going to place somewhere in the center of the canvas. I'm just going to make sure it's where I want it. And one thing I like to point out, when, when confronting a work of conceptual art, whoops, actually I'm using one of these glue guns, it's ideal for this sort of thing because you can quickly adhere something, uh, you know, to a canvas or whatever. Now when confronting a work of art, a work of conceptual art, sorry, one has to basically Think about oneself, you know, uh, uh, get rid of all the inhibitions. If you're going to confront a work of conceptual art and from the beginning, you already sort of uh, uh, rule the idea out as being stupid or whatever. You're never going to let your yourself understand what it's trying to do. So that's one thing you should always take into account. Have an open mind. Confront the work with an open mind like you would do a play or a film. By all means, if you don't like it in the end, it's one's prerogative. But at least you've tried to understand what is trying to be, what the artist tried to do. Uh, and I, it's, again, I don't like to repeat myself, but a lot of people find it a lot easier to be derogative and, and insult.